All right, today we're going to be jumping into a reaction video with Asmongold. We're not going to be talking about Andrew Tate, even though it says Andrew Tate is a free man. It's the last four minutes and 35 seconds of this video where chat just completely pops off. And I'm going to tell you the truth. I also got a little mad. I'm going to explain how I see the reasoning behind what this man is saying. Let's get into it. My paranoid conspiracy Andy opinion about Trump getting arrested, okay? True. I think that they're trying to indict Trump to make him a martyr to split the Republican Party between him and DeSantis. Yep. Because right now, Trump looks like a clown. Yep. But if you make Trump a victim and a martyr, hmm. everybody is going to side with him, and he's easier to beat than DeSantis. True. Yeah. And I think they're doing it intentionally. If I was a Democrat, it would be in my best interest to do this. Yeah. Everybody loves a martyr. Yep. Let me explain to you why I think this is most likely the case. So in Canada, there was a split vote between the in the Conservative Party, which caused Trudeau to win. It was called like the CCP or the CPP. I don't know exactly what the name was, but basically it was like for Canada for citizens, blah, 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 all that other crap like that. Uh, I have my own theory on that. I'm pretty sure it might have been set up by the Democrats to intentionally split the vote. That is a hard conspiracy theory. No proof at all on that. There's a good chance that it was some form of government decision or government thing that, ha that took place. And that could be what happened because I don't trust Canada politics at all, period. I trust the states more than canada for sure if the democrats are watching how canada did stuff they're most likely going to take ideas and try to implement into the u.s and they have to try a lot harder with the u.s because i'm gonna be honest canadians are not that bright they're pretty dumb <laughs> it is what it is yeah there's a good chance that they're going to try and split the vote so that the democrats can have the majority of the vote that's my opinion i'm pretty sure that Asmongold is right in this topic just just from my own personal experience that's what i think mm-hmm tinfoil hat theory it's definitely a tinfoil hat theory yes absolutely but there's a good chance right, tinfoil tin hat favorites. theory yeah because it'll split the vote yeah no he would have won 2024 elections no i, I don't think no Trump has any chance of winning he doesn't i i, I really don't I, I don't think he has any chance of winning the uh, actual general election yeah you know, biden has zero chance no no i totally disagree i think people will vote for biden again instantaneously yeah now, now watch as chat gets completely flamed. I also got mad. I got super pissed. I was about to type something in the comments. But you have to give people a chance to explain yourself before you completely roast them. And I was about to. But let's just hear what he says. Think about it like this. Mm -hmm. Okay? And I understand you're not going to like to hear yeah. this. Nope. I, I, I'm going I'm to just, I'm a just <laughs> lay it out. And you can yeah. disagree if you want. Canadi most Canadians will know exactly what's happening, and the reason for that is because they see it. I think that people vote based off of how- Also, I'm pretty sure someone is editing these, and I just realized it because I just paused it. There's like a tiny fade. I don't know who's doing that, but good job. I didn't- I never ever noticed it until I paused the video just there and saw the tiny fade. Things are based mm. versus how they were whenever the president took office. Yes. I actually think that it's that simple minded. Uh, uh, voting, listen, let me tell you another story. Voting is extremely simple minded, which is why I don't vote at all. People don't take voting seriously. They're so dumb. They're real stupid. But if people put any actual thought into voting, I'm, I would consider it. But ever since people have told me, and they told me a lot more in the COVID area, because in the COVID era, I should say, the COVID era, a lot more because now they're mad at, tr at Trudeau. But they told me that the only reason why they voted for Trudeau was because he was cute. Why are you voting? Like, what? You're going to vote for someone because they look cute? Really? You're not going to look at anything else they did? There's a level of, of uh, admiration I actually have for China. In the past? Because their you know, basic dictatorship. Stephen justify the vote there is a flexibility that i know stephen harper must dream about of having a dictatorship that he could do everything he wanted uh, that i find quite interesting yeah people are that fucking stupid there are some people that shouldn't be allowed to vote but the right to do so i never ever ever got into voting once i heard that i always thought voting was corrupt bullshit i didn't believe it at all it was whatever it was it was, it was behind me I can complain about whatever the hell I wanted to because I never voted. I don't care. But ever since that, I was like, nah, I'm done. Fuck that shit. <laughs> like, really? You're really going to do that? Still pisses me off to this day. 
voting because somebody looks good. Oh my God, that is the most bizarre thing I've ever heard in my life. It is actually that simple minded. You think that there'd be some kind of thought process. There isn't. And the truth is that since Biden took over, COVID went away. Yeah, this is true. People are going to think that Biden solved COVID. Yes. Let me explain to you why this is also true. Trump was president. COVID started. COVID got worse during the re-election. It got worse. People thought Trump was doing a bad job. So they voted for Biden instead. COVID still got worse. However, COVID is now gone, we'll say. COVID is now gone. And Biden did that. Okay. When it got worse, they blamed Trump. When it got better, they they promoted Biden for it. All right. So because people see now that COVID is gone, they're going to think that Biden played a role in it. And... Biden was the president when COVID went away. People are not that bright. They're real dumb. They're going to think that. So guess what that means? Mm -hmm. That means they're going to vote for Biden. They're going to vote for Biden. Yeah. People are dumb. That's what I think. I hard agree to this take right here. Everything this man has said, I was mad at first, but life experience has told me that people are real fucking stupid. Inflation, no. People, people don't understand people inflation. Understand inflation. Yeah. In let me tell you another story. Let me. T let me. I'm gonna let him talk first. Inflation affects people on such an abstract level. Yeah. That they don't. They. They can't understand inflation in a short term in the same way that they can understand having to wear a mask. Yeah. That's a hundred. A hundred percent true. See, let me tell you how people think. They go to the store, and they see milk went up a quarter. They go, meh. It's a quarter. I'll buy it. I can afford it. They see milk go up a dollar. They go, meh, I can afford it. I'll still buy it. They see it go up $3. They're like, what the hell? What the? Still buy it. They see it go up three twenty five. dollars Complain, still buy it. They see it go up 10 bucks. Now they're thinking. Now they're like, wait a minute. Why is this bag of milk now 10 bucks? It goes up 20 bucks. Why is, why, I can't afford this bag of milk. Why is, why is, why is a bag of milk 20 bucks? It goes up 50 bucks. Holy shit. What is that? And then that's when people are going to be like, that's when inflation actually matters. <laughs> it, it might matter before that. That's roughly how it'll go. <laughs> okay. Uh, what was the other thing you said? I actually forgot. Oh, COVID. Uh, this person is, no one is afraid of COVID anymore. Not even the dumbasses. That guy has absolutely no idea how wrong he is. Absolutely no idea. The only reason people aren't wearing a mask is because they think it's safe, quote unquote. Because the government and the news media told him it was safe, quote unquote. But they still talk about it. That guy is completely wrong. People are so afraid of death and whatever else. They were okay with the restrictions. They hated it, but they were okay with it. They were okay with wearing a mask. They hated it, but it, they felt it was necessary. There was even fights that broke out because someone would come in not wearing a mask. People would offer other people masks, get into a fight. It was crazy. Absolute chaos. Not as bad as it could have been, but still crazy. So people are more concerned about that because it's easy to understand. Wear a mask or die. Inflation is nothing. They don't understand how it works at all. They'll just keep buying it. They don't care. As long as it's, a, as long as it's not a ridiculous price, they'll still come in and buy it. How do I know this? I work in retail, so I know. I work in retail. I still work in retail to this day. I've been working in retail for the last five years. People come in and they'll look at the price and they'll see that the price has gone up like 50 cents from the last time they were here. They come up and they go, this is now 50 cents more than when I bought it. I go, yeah, it's inflation, man. He goes, no, you're just like ripping people off. I go, what are you talking about? It's inflation. Do you not understand how inflation works? He goes, nah, you just like ripping people off. What's funny is that he still bought it and walked out the door. It's like, I don't even own the store. I don't even own the product. I don't make the price of the product. I just ring it through and give it to you and you go home. I actually stock at the shelves too. But anyway, we're not going to get into that. The only people that are actually talking about that stuff are the people that have, I assume, nine to five jobs. Because the people that aren't talking about that stuff are the ones that come in at the end of the month. And they won't stop. They won't, they won't talk about it at first. But you give them a week, maybe two weeks when all their money's gone. 
And then they'll start to notice that the prices are going up again. <laughs> and then they'll start being like, why is this 50 cents? It's like, it was 50 cents the last time you bought it. It hasn't changed. <laughs> it's like, it's still the same. When you bought all the other stuff, it's still the same price. <laughs> it's, 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 then they'll start to notice when they have no money. I'm telling you, people are not concerned about the price at all. People have cars still. People are able to spend a hundred to 300 bucks on just random stuff. It's not even groceries, by the way. It's not even like food or well, part of its food, but the majority of it is not anything to do with personal hygiene or actual food, junk food mostly, but not actual food. It's just random stuff they think is cute or they well, it's birthday parties and stuff too, which I a hundred percent understand. But like I said, most of it, you don't, they don't even need but they're filling their carts up just because they like it and they just want it because they went up and down every single aisle and they filled up their basket. Now they got, or they filled up the cart. Now they got two carts because of all the crap they want to buy because they have the money to spend it. I'm telling you, inflation right now, nobody cares. Inflation is not on anyone's mind. They're concerned that the prices are going up. Does it affect them on a personal level? Not really, no. I'm watching it firsthand, not affect them at all. And like I said, it won't affect them until they see that bag of milk go up to 50 bucks. And then they're like, what the fuck? When they can no longer live, that's when it'll affect them the most. We're going to continue. Hard disagree. Okay. All right. Uh-huh. Don't ban them. That's not right. All right. Don't ban them. Let them have their opinions. It's fine. They don't see it. That's pessimistic. Go outside, please. <laughs> All right. I would urge you to do the same. Yeah, go, go out, outside yeah. and have a conversation with somebody. Go outside, please. Go outside and talk with someone for like 30 minutes. You'll see how dumb people are. For just a little while. Yeah, just a little bit. You'll and see. You will learn yeah. how fucking dumb people are. People are so stupid. <laughs> I agree with your takes or price of gas, rent, and food. On both sides, by the way. People are feeling it. Mm-hmm. Um, that, that's true. Someone said no need chat proves it. That's actually true. You don't even have to go outside to see how dumb people are. I yeah. think that if the price <laughs> of things gets really, really high, I don't think it's high enough now for people to complain. It's not. I can confirm it's not high enough. President again, though. Yeah. I, I don't think so. I think I think if I think if Biden gets elected again, then crap will start to take off. That's what I think. Getting there, but it's not there yet. Yeah. They already hmm. are. No, Rich I, guy I, take. It, it, it's, it would have to get worse. Yeah, it has to get way worse. It's yeah. high as fuck. It is. It is? Yep. People are like, says the millionaire in chat, millionaire mentality. Like, nah. Like I said, I, I'm living it. I'm living it and seeing it right now. It is not a millionaire mentality. Most of these people that are spending 300, 100, 300 bucks in stores and then going to Walmart or like Canadian Tire after, they're, they have absolutely... They don't even care about the price right now. The price is nothing to them. Their bread went up like a buck. Who cares? It has to, like it has to get way worse than what it is. Way worse. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Someone said I'm a high as fuck. <laughs> Would it be okay to Me do a too. Poll to test your theory. Do you think chat's a different sample than in general election? No. You want to do a Twitch poll for a topic like that? Are you dumb? <laughs> Are you stupid? I think the general election is completely different. Yeah. I, I love how, like, people think that I'm wrong about this. How can you possibly <laughs> think that I'm wrong after you watch the TikTok hearings? Yeah. You don't need, like I said, you don't have to go aside. This chat's pretty fucking stupid. You want to do a poll over inflation? You want to do a poll over who's going to win the next election? You know that polls aren't even meant to be... I hope you're not taking polls seriously on Twitch. For the love of God, please. <laughs> Please tell me you're not taking Twitch polls seriously. Wh what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, no. Do you really think that we don't? And what's funny is I said this before and wait a long time ago. Even if you do a poll in, in chat, the chat's going to vote differently and be like, I lied, smiley face. It's like <laughs> the capacity to elect more. Or I lied, Tech W. That seems like the only. Thing it's not even going to be a gen. It's so not even going to be what whatever. What I did is I presented a matrix mm -hmm. that people use to vote for morons. Yeah. And guess what? It's a stupid matrix. Stupid matrix. Why? Because the people that are using it are stupid. Yeah. Like Twitch polls. It. I, I, 
I don't know what to say. Yeah. <laughs> again, like everybody thinks that, like, oh, well, you know, that's no. People are going to be able to think past this. No, nah, people are dumb as fuck. They're not. Nah. Absolutely not. No, nah, they're not. People are so dumb. That's all I wanted to say. I, like I said, I was mad. I was pissed off. I let the man talk. I took into what he said. And I 100% agree with this man's opinion. Um, or I should say take, because whatever. Opinion is just a word that you say when you don't want to get backlash. So I agree with this man's take on this subject. 100% agree. It was the last four and a half minutes of the video. 100% agree. Let me know what y'all think in the comments down below. I'll see you guys in the next video I post. Take care and bye-bye.